All right, John. It's Todd Staver. I'm going to do the best I can. It's the walk around. I'm going to. Um, I'm probably going to have to break this up into two videos, uh, just so that uh, for size. But uh, this is it. So uh, the front of the car is good. No paint damage. No anything. Uh, I'm just going to show you the interior here of the wheel wells. So, and the frame's good, no rust, so to speak of, other than surface rust. Um, there's a little mark here on the door, it's been touched up, but the rest of this uh, is very good. There's no rust on the rocker panels. There's a little scrape here. That's just wax, actually. Uh, but the rest of this, very good. There's a little uh, bubbling here, which is right behind the uh, driver's side door, or passenger side door, I'm sorry. Uh, the rest of this is good. No marks on the paint, no rust, no bubbling. I couldn't find any bubbles uh, anywhere on this car. There's a ding there, there's a ding there, and that's right below the, the Cyclone logo. But as you can see, like the wheel wells, all are good. This one's a little harder to see in, but again, no rust. And then, uh, so the chrome on the back here is pitted. He talked about replacing that. Uh, the center piece is in much better shape, but uh, again, it's not perfect. And the tail lights seem to be the two pieces. Those are separate. Uh, the chrome itself here on the bumper is in good shape. Again, no rust or bubbling. The bottom of the bumper is in good shape. And then I'll get underneath here in the back. So there's the exhaust. Your brakes. So the rails are in good shape. There's underneath there. And I'll be honest with you, I don't really. It doesn't look. I mean, it's pretty good for a '69, for God's sakes. Anyways, uh, the driver's side is the same. There's no, no sign of any rust or paint damage on this particular panel either. Let me show you the gas cap in there. And then there's, uh, I couldn't find any bubbling or paint on the back. No signs of uh, damage. The seals are all in good shape. Uh, this is the back piece. There's a little crack in that speaker right there, but the rest of it is good. Uh, the paint on this side is a little better in that there isn't any marks or dings. There's a little door ding, a little paint damage there from the door, a couple more there. But again, like along the rocker here, all very, very clean, no bubbling signs of rust and that's the same with the door so looks like a little I don't know if that's overspray or if that's damage but anyways um, so the front fenders the same they're all in good shape little pitting on the chrome there and then underneath here clean <clears throat> and then the engine compartment if you look down here in the frame it's all there seem to be any issues there it is leaking power steering fluid and it has since I've had it and uh, we took it up to Superior recently and um, he had paid a guy to fix it and uh, had Bob at Superior suggested taking it back there and then having them fix the problem 
to save him money and um, he hasn't done that but it is leaking power steering fluid just FYI there's your firewall And then your hood. Again, no signs of rust anymore there. And then, uh, let's make sure they get the front end here. There's the power steering leak. Okay, I'll walk you through the interior real quick and then I think what I'll do is, so here's the interior, there's one little burn hole right there on the seat, the rest of it is very very clean, there are no cracks in the dash, the dash is, uh, I don't know how, but it's maintained its integrity, uh, the wipers work, the lights work, the left turn signal bulb is out but works, the right signal indicator works, the fans work, the blowers work, uh, I'm just going to grab the keys here real quick and I'll show you the trunk. So the back, uh, there's some just a little, some little cosmetic on the other side of the center console here. There's a couple screws missing. Um, well, that's that. Okay, so there's the, there's the interior of the trunk. Lift that up and show you that's all in really good shape in there. As you can see. There's the jack. You have just a bunch of spare parts here. The match uh, box I think you probably saw on the internet. And then here is the uh, the trim on the trunk. And then the underneath of the deck lid here. So new bolts on the fin. Okay, so that's a start. Uh, I, what I think I'll do is I'll wrap this up. I'm gonna and then I'll start it and then go through a little more of the interior and then uh, get back to you if you have any other questions beyond this. So, anyways, that's the first one.